Petersburg is a wonderful place to live. Nobody locks their doors, nobody, you leave your keys in the car. Living in Petersburg is, it's a slower pace. We live by the tides and not by the time, not by the clock on the wall. Hello, my name is Shaleen McCullum. I'm from Petersburg, Alaska, and I'm a commercial fisherman. My mom's side of the family are all commercial fishermen, starting with my grandmother, so that would make me, I suppose, a third generation um, fisherman. Um, and I'm raising the fourth generation fisherman as well. I think once you're a commercial fisherman, it gets in your blood, and it's really kind of hard to stop. The boat that my husband and I own was built in 1936 in Ballard, Washington. It's uh, an old wooden boat. This is my dream. This is working with my family. This is having my children aboard the boat. It really is a, it's a lifestyle. It's not just a job, it's a lifestyle. A good fisherman is someone who knows to make sure that you are protecting the resource. Be mindful of the resource and know that it's there for you, but it's also there for the generations to come. A typical day of fishing for me starts about four o'clock you have 15 hours to catch those fish that day, and there's a million things that can go wrong. Thankfully, I have a very understanding husband who is a fantastic skipper. He's a great fisherman, he's calm. In any situation, he knows how to deal with it. We rolled so far over that we were, that this railing was in the water. And usually when a boat rolls, a boat rolls over and it rolls back. But since we had such a heavy load of fish, it didn't roll back. You know, at that moment, all I could think about was getting my kids so that they were outside of the, of the cabin and safe. It's hard to know how you'll react in that kind of a situation, but we had to then cut some lines to, and release some fish and the boat righted itself again. The set of fish that we had that day was about 40,000 pounds that we saved. I'm always getting wet and that's why it's nice to shed all those layers, the heavy wet boots, and throw on a pair of Birkenstocks to let my feet breathe after, after being on deck all day. The first time I got in contact, or that I knew about Birkenstock, I was probably about 15 years old. I was out fishing, and I knew I wanted a pair, and I knew that the store in Petersburg carried Birkenstocks. So I knew that if I kept fishing for a few weeks that I would have enough money and that I could go to Lee's Clothing and buy my first pair of Birkenstocks. What do I like in life? I like honesty. I like pure and simple. I like that I can walk outside and pick blueberries off the bushes. I like, um, I like simplicity. <laughs> <laughs>